The book I'm going to tell you about today is called Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. My favorite part in the book is when the preacher, also known as Opal's dad, asks Opal to go to the Winn-Dixie supermarket to get some macaroni and cheese, and she brings back a dog. My favorite character is Winn-Dixie because he seems to understand everything that's happening around him. Like in the open, in the open Arms Baptist Church, he chases a little mouse that's scurrying across the floor, and when he finally catches it, he holds it in his mouth without hurting it. During most of the book, Opal is so stressed out about her mother leaving her, and she really wants to know a lot about her, so she uses Winn-Dixie as a way to know more about her mother. What the author wants us to take away from the book is that you have to enjoy things while you have them. Because when Dixie leaves and Opal can't find him, Gloria Dunn tells Opal that the dog was, that when Dixie was nice, but that she should have enjoyed him while she had him. Opal doesn't realize this to the end of the book, but when the preacher tells her that her, when her mama left, she left nothing behind, he is wrong. Because in the end, he says that he's thankful that Opal's mom left Opal behind for the preacher. Thanks for watching.